Hello and welcome back to the left side of reality. This is your host as always, Snow the First. Last time we began the third case and we have found that we are apparently meant to defend three different people in court. How that is even going to begin to work, I don't know yet, but that's where we are right now. And this time we are back at the place related to the murder to try and hopefully figure out some clues as to what is happening and I personally think that the first person we should talk to is someone and that's been a, that's around here often i.e. this guy uh, come back here come back here That's a good point. You might know something. That's a very blunt answer. Hmm. That's what I've got to say about that. I think we have more important things to worry about than what's metal. Ah, well. No, uh, that's the same thing. Okay, he's giving exposition on what's going on. Uh, Dylan, something you want to tell us about you, yourself? <laughs> okay, what's going on with this car? I suppose if your team doesn't have a composer, you make do with what you've got. Oh, are we just gonna... We're getting a repeat of that. Crap. I wanted to see if there was something more. Although I'm starting to think 
that my thought from last week has a level of merit to it. So, oh. Trey, I think you're going to have trouble keeping the races going. The cops are already looking to make arrests. Rhonda Haste. Oh dear. Ah, so the earlier specula speculation was right. The cops don't poke over here because the, the racers keep out of the way. You are giving off major killer vibes, lady. Well, that's a very annoying catch-22. <laughs> okay. So where does that leave us, then? Now for the part where I wander around trying to figure out where to go because the game isn't exactly giving us clues. What could it want us to look at? Okay, the map was what we needed. No, we don't want to do more illegal things. Of course there is. Interesting. Any potential killer would want to make use of this dirt road to avoid being caught. Uh, looks like this, um, looks like the investigation of the crash site is going to be the last thing we do before court. Off we go. Hey, Flatfoot.
You know her. Anything at this point. Whoa. This scene is slightly more zoomed in than a lot of other angles are. And look at that background. Look, look at the, like, night city over there. I like the effort. Parallax. Now that's a show uh, that I kind of miss watching. It was pretty good. I already don't like this. That's a pretty good way of using perspective to give depth where there is none. The Joker is definitely going to be a central figure in this case. Because the victim is one, and now we have a Joker in the backstory. Ow, that sounds very painful. So why would a high society heiress be involved in street racing, is the question. Oh, hello. The fact that we're learning about Mr. Hawk's boss is either really good or really bad. Basically, the track is used so often for racing that 
any other tracks are gonna blend right in. Alright. Do all traffic cops have that little bandage on their face? What's up with that? Okay, that's not news. Japanese? So the driver's side would be on the right. On the other hand, someone could have taken it. Why they might have taken it is another matter. There are way too many oddities of what's going on here. Given that all these car a lot of these cards are hand built remote control wouldn't be the craziest thing. But knowing Nina Kila, the truth may end up somehow being crazier than that. So it looks like the main the main obstacle we need to surpass in the trailer is going to be that photo. We we might need to show that what was seen in the what's shown in the photo doesn't match with reality. At least that's my best guess. A blonde lady. Apparently so.
You are going to be a witness. Okay, so Clara arrived late, which by the sound of it is out of character for her. Miss Queen of Diamonds? Could, could either of you start speaking English at some point? I guess all that's left is court. We did. Or we didn't. Nina, one day it'll you will have no choice but to tell us how you know Ryoku. Because if you were able to instantly figure out what was going with Ryoku just from seeing her in the car, you clearly know her. Yes, please. Now that we have our usual black screen, I suppose now is a good time for me to talk about what I think happened. Except the truth is, I'm with Nina. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, real quick, let's let's see what our ev evidence is. The fatality in 81. The clubs use an American model. The rest of them use a Japanese model. The cause of death right now is a sharp blow to the head. It's believed she was, Clara was driving out of character. You can't see what's inside. The darkened windows might make me think that your theory might be right. Because with darkened web, because with darkened windows, you can't see if the person behind the wheel is alive or not. Let's see. The Japanese cars have driver's side on the right. No license plate, no wheels, car keys, former Ace of Spades, and Joker. And then we have our clients, so to speak. Ooh, 
a lot of information, just not a lot you can do with the information. Court usually takes half an hour, so it looks like this bit will be the last of the stream. Wait, are we gonna have three people behind the bench? Because that would be hilarious. Chad Hawk would tear Ren to pieces if Ren gets over emotional. I get it. We have three people. We have three people. That's fantastic. I want to point out that Ren has no chair. He has to stay standing at all times. Not only did it take Ace Attorney until the 3DS era, it only did it once during Dual Destinies. All right, Miss Tani, what do you've got for us today? The, he's our car expert. Thank you, Hawk. That's pretty reasonable of you. I beg your pardon. What's that last one? Yes, let's not interrupt the judge.
So Chad Hawk's case is that all three other aces work together to kill Clara. Order. Remember what Hawk said, you're only allowed here as long as you're not disruptive. This is a very stuffed box. Shoot. That's a bad start. We know it's illegal. No need to hammer that in. The leader is dead. What's going on here? Jocelyn? You know, for a, for a woman that barely speaks, you sure are being a real pain in the butt. Look at that, Joe. You've angered the judge. You're on a very bad path right now. Oh no.
quite the sticky, quite the sticky question you've asked there. Okay, maybe take a second to breathe. This case has been a very interesting look on what happens when you stick to the exact letter of the law. Okay, as always, we drop a safety save. The It seems like the point of contention here will basically be to show that our testimony is so biased as to be untrustworthy. No, too soon, too soon. Up, oh, here's the contradiction. I knew this would come in handy. The real question is, what's it gonna mean? What's it gonna mean once we expose the existence of the dirt road? <laughs> well, we just threw Miss Hate, Officer Haste, under the bus.
you're about to be in a hot second here. Okay, Chad, you would probably account for this. How did you account for it? Objection. Of course it's not. Yikes, Chad! Her screw-up must have really got under your skin. <laughs> I think... I think Chad just killed the woman. Marco West, the photographer we heard from about yesterday. What are they going to look like? I don't think photos are allowed in court. It's an Ace Attorney inspired game. No one is. No one is normal in these worlds. <laughs> well, this is a sentence I never thought I'd speak in my life, but. Please do not attempt to seduce the judge. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to, Nina. <laughs> well, this trial is over, I think. Unfortunately, this is also very bad news for us, because if the photographer has the judge wrapped around his little finger, then his photo is going to be even more credible.
Oh boy. So, you know this group personally, is what I'm getting here. Oh. I'm guessing that's Clara at the far right there. Hmm. I want to look at that photo again as soon as I am able. These details feel like... These details feel like they might add up to something important. Hmm, we're running out of time, but this guy still hasn't gotten to his testimony. Okay, Clara wasn't the... Okay. I need to look at that photo again. Okay, now we're getting into the meat of it. Sorry, my friend. It's nothing personal, but we're gonna have to tear your statement to pieces now. From what I can tell, the main hole in this testimony might end up being how there's um, basically a period of time when he wasn't around. Alright, first of all... Okay... There's five people here, but none of them look like the photographer. There's Keisuke at the top here. This blonde person seems to be Clara. Here's the other two aces. So who's this person at the far right? Or could that be Ryoku? That's the first thing that sticks out. The second thing that sticks out in this photo is that we see the... We see the car... We see Clara's car, we see Clara's body, we see the cars of two of the aces, but is Joe's... is Joe's car missing?
one of the cars is definitely missing. Something screwy is going on here. Hold it. Of course you do. Hold it. All right. Okay, that statement about the three around the body seems to be the, the one we want. Alright, let's look at the evidence. What does it want us to... I'm actually not sure what it wants us to present because... It's the accident photo. Like I was pointing out before, there are three cars here when there should be four. One of them isn't. The gray car here should. The gray car here is Clara's. Let me see... Clubs. I saved anyway, so... I think I'm going to present the photo on the uh, I'm gonna present the photo on the uh, statement just to see where that gets us Objection!
No, it Attention. doesn't. You knew we would bring this up, Hawk. You're ready for this. You smarmy bastard. Judge, calm down. We've basically run out of time, but I want to see where this goes. I'm guessing Joe electing to take the fifth. Believe it or not, I ran into this term earlier this morning when I was reading some stuff online. Basically, it's a confession, but not really. It means that the person pleading no lo contende, contendere The person making this plea is basically saying they won't argue with whatever the prosecution is saying. No lo contenderé. That's Spanish for I won't contest it. Yep. It's a confession, but not really. We aren't representing them. That's the problem. Why are you doing this, Joe? What are you accomplishing? Seems exactly this. She believes she's the killer. <laughs> mm. 
not on purpose. I need to look at the evidence again. There's no way this case is ending this soon. Yeah, cognition is quite the manipulator. <laughs> Let me look at the evidence. Okay, there's a... All the clubs are imported except for... Clara's. Or no, not Clara's. This is the car that she was using. She says she felt, felt a jolt on the... There are some, there's some possibilities of what it could be, but I'm having trouble connecting them. I feel like the contradiction of who's on what path, who's on what, which driver's seat is on what side is what's going to matter. And then there's this one, where the aces say that Clara was driving out of character. We've officially gone over time in the stream, but... I am not stopping this until I finish the court section. Yeah, that's the point.
It doesn't. It doesn't have damage on the right side. Something had been niggling me about this. The whole time. I think you just got it. This game is very particular about the details. I don't think it can be chalked up to limited, limited budget. Objection. Penalty. Well, there goes one of our faces. And here I thought we had something. Shoot. Well, this just got bad. I don't think we can... We can look at the style of car she has, but not specifically her car, I don't think. Wait! I, I just look at the description of this car. I was right. This is Ryoko on the far right here. Okay, that, that doesn't matter. The clubs is the only American model. But Clara's car does show the damage. Wait, I think that's the right one. I hope it's the right one. Objection. Yep, there it is. It's that it isn't damaged on the left side. Okay, Chad, for this little stunt you pulled, we're about to stick in the knife and twist it. <laughs> Goodbye, Chad. You are about to die. Oh no, I almost feel sorry for you, Chad. You're gonna get raked over the coals for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm with Nina, who cares? <laughs>
Yay! We finally got jo Jocelyn on the so our side. We got the worst of it out. I'd say that's a progress. Because we proved that Joe didn't hit the car at the particular time. But that still leaves us with a lot of questions. Okay, we went over, but we were able to finish the court session, which means next time on the left side of reality, Nina will hopefully stop eating gorditos, and then we get back into the nitty-gritty of trying to figure out this case. Until then, I'll see you here. Oh no, this again. Good thing I'm ending the stream now. Hello, help, how do we get out off this train? <laughs>